So in this video, I'm gonna share with you the exact strategy that you can use to make $100 to $300 per day using Zillow. And this is the exact methodology that I created to hit my first $10,000 per month by sending direct outreach messages to real estate agents on Zillow. So let's get into the video. So the first thing to understand is what is the actual business model here? How do you go from taking this video from just an idea to collecting payments as soon as this week from people that may or may not even know who you are? So the business model is to help real estate agents get clients with digital ads and a booked call funnel as well as some automation. So before I get into the specifics of the actual method, let me show you in the real world how this actually works. So let's go over here to Zillow and I'll just click on the buy filter and I'll show you how real estate agents make money. So we're gonna go to from the for sale filter and we're gonna go to the sold. That way we can see people that have actually sold properties recently and made money and I'll break down exactly how that works. So this property here in Riverside, California recently sold for $715,000. So the average real estate agent will make around 3% of the sale price. So for example, if we go over here and we multiply 715,000 by 3%, we will see that this agent made around $21,000 to sell this property. Now, this agent name is Cesar Gomez, and you can see here that this property was sold in the month of December for $715,000. So for example, Cesar here sold this property and made anywhere from you know sixteen dollars to $21,000, but to keep it very simple, let's just say that he made this exact amount. So this is a property here in Southern California. Now, these properties are obviously all across the United States. I mean, we can go to Dallas, Texas, and we're going to find a bunch of recently sold properties here. We can click on this one. Well, actually, funnily enough, Texas is one of the states that doesn't actually show you the end sale price. So we'll just click on Alabama, for example. So this is another property that sold, and this one sold for $385,000. And so when a real estate agent lists this property for a homeowner and the property gets sold, they make around 3% of whatever the sale price is. And so what our business model is going to help real estate agents do is find more of these homeowners who need to sell their property or buy property, okay? Because when real estate agents can consistently find either people that need to purchase these properties or sell these properties, they make money. And so this was the business model that I started when I dropped out of school. And so what I figured out was that, hey, if a real estate agent is gonna make you know $10,000 when they sell this house or $20,000 when they sell this house, then if I can create a system to help these real estate agents either sell more of these houses or help people buy these houses, I'm going to help these real estate agents make more money and in turn, they will continue to pay me for my systems by helping them solve this problem. And so this is really starting the overview of the process that I'm gonna be going over in this particular video. So the same way that a real estate agent needs leads, right? They need homeowners or potential home buyers who are interested in buying these houses. They need more people to contact so that they can make more money. That's really how the entire business model starts is if you can find a real estate agent who has a property that somebody needs to sell and you can find a homeowner that needs to sell that property and you can connect those two people and the transaction goes through, the homeowner makes money because they sell their asset, the real estate agent makes money because he sold the property and there's more layers to it, but it's really as simple as that. And so the same way that real estate agents need leads like home buyers or home sellers, you yourself need leads. And with this particular business model, your lead is a real estate agent, okay? So I'm gonna show you how we can find more real estate agents to contact. Now, the good thing about real estate agents is they are very easy to contact Contact, and I'm going to show you in this video how to find their information and contact them. Okay. And I'm also going to show you how you can pay somebody to basically compile a list of these people um, so that it's easier for you to focus on the outreach. Okay. Now this entire video is going to show you step by step how to do everything that you need, but the process and the business model starts when you yourself can generate your own leads and these leads have a problem that you can solve. Okay. So that's step one. Now, step two is once we find these people that have this potential problem that we solve, we need to reach out to them and contact them, right? And what's gonna be different about you know this particular method versus maybe others that you're seeing online is that we're not only going to write an outreach me uh, message, but we also are going to record an outreach video that reaches out specifically 
to that agent and shows that, hey, I'm a real person. I'm here looking at a property that you've recently sold and I'm investing time and energy into sending you this message and I think I can help you, okay? Once you do that enough times and you schedule these outreach emails, which like I said, I'm gonna show you how to do from start to finish, then after sending enough of these messages and you know hitting the right um, outreach message and the right outreach video strategy, then people are going to want to learn more, okay? And this is where you wanna take this conversation that is you know uh, over email and you wanna convert this to an actual appointment where you go from, hey, you know, I, I see the property here that you recently sold. I think I can help you find more of these properties in this market to um, you're interested and I would love to actually learn more about your business, learn more about what's working in your business, what's not working and some of the problems that you may be having. And if those things line up with something that I believe I can help with, I would love to present to you, you know, the solution that I have based on, you know, what you've told, what you've told me. And so when you do those kind of five things here, now you're, now you're pretty much in business, okay? And then over time, people are gonna agree to, okay, cool, like that sounds good. And now present to me, you know, what it is that you specifically do. And this is where you get into presenting your actual solution, um, you know, to these real estate agents. And I'll show you um, the framework for conducting these demonstrations as well. So if you do this enough times, you get enough leads, you send enough messages, you invest enough time into specifically reaching out to the right people, and you, know, you get people to agree to have a designated time where they're willing to you know, talk to you about these solutions and for you to learn more about how you could potentially help them, you're gonna get people that say, hey, I'm willing to pay you for your system or your service to help me find more listings or more home buyers. And then your job is to collect the payment and figure out how to actually deliver these, you know, real estate agents results. Like how do you actually find the home buyers and the home sellers, which is what I'm going to share with you in this video. So that's the overview of the actual process. Okay. You need gen to generate leads just like they do. So in this particular business model, your leads are real estate agents that are, you know, successfully closing transactions and doing real estate full time. And, um, you're reaching out to them. You're sending them a message in a video getting them on an appointment, presenting to them, you know, the solution once they're a fit and collecting payment and then getting them results. It's really that simple. So that's the overview of the process that we're going to be going through. Now, these are some updates that I want to share for you in 2024, because I think um, they're important before we continue into the specific method and the strategy. So Obviously, if you're in the make money online space or social media marketing agencies or anything having to do with making money online, you're obviously seeing the AI hype continue to grow, right? With ChatGPT being launched in November of 2023 or 2022, um, this pretty much uh, was like the catalyst for um, the everyday person to be exposed to AI and how it works, okay? And as this hype continues to grow, my belief is that a personable approach plus AI is a huge strategic advantage, okay? Because you could take what I'm gonna share with you in this video and you know mass produce this type of a outreach method to thousands and thousands of people and use AI to fake the videos and all these different things, but the method that I used when I started to uh, get these first clients is the same method that I'm showing you to this day. And it worked extremely well because I got to meet people in person and I got to cherry pick really the best agents that were producing at a high level. And even though some of those people didn't end up signing up with my services, um, these are all a part of my network to this day and I've maintained good relationships with them. I've stayed connected with them. And so you have to remember that business is a forever game. And so, you know, just being a one trick pony that knows how to do one simple thing or one new thing um, can potentially over time dilute, you know, your reputation from being someone that's just consistently adding value to the marketplace while keeping up with trends, but also having, you know, a long term approach. This is really the, the key that I have had um, to staying successful over six years is I know what trends are up and coming. I know, you know, what people need to look out for, but I also keep the main thing, the main thing, which is, is it getting my clients results and does it actually work and make my clients lives easier? Because it's pretty easy to just see AI and then think that it's going to solve all these problems. But um, in more cases than not, I've seen it just confuse people and cause them to not really end up even doing anything. And so... My belief is if you combine today's technology and leverage the AI, but you also have that personable approach um, and use video outreach like I'm going to be sh uh, showing you here, um, you're going to stand out, okay? 
And so the other thing to note here is you can see the simplicity in making money from this particular model when you look for the signal amongst the noise, because there's a lot of noise out there about all these different things you can do. But the reality is if you work a nine to five and you know, your income is pretty much capped um, or you know, you're, you're out of work, for example, or whatever the situation may be, if you can get five clients to pay you $1,500 per month with what I'm going to be sharing with you here, you're going to be making $7,500 per month or $90,000 per year. And while you're not going to make the Forbes list with $90,000 per year, um, this was really where the income that I hit when I started to develop a high level of competence, where I realized that if I wanted to double this thing or I wanted to add a team or whatever I wanted to do, all of those possibilities started happening right around this income mark. And so you know, if you look now at, you know, my actual agency, my agency right now is around $19,000 per month in reoccurring income. This uh, number isn't quite, or actually I think, yeah. So what happened was, um, you know, there were about three or four clients that because of the holidays, I told them, Hey, I think it's going to be best for your ad budget to pause ads during December because CPMs go up. These are all specifics, but point is, this is the model that I run to this day, and I'm at around $19,000 in reoccurring income per month. And, you know, that's a quarter million dollars per year. And I don't spend a lot of time, you know, maintaining these things and, and like a lot of, I don't spend a lot of time running this model. Okay. And so basically, where all of it shifted though was right around that $7,500 per month mark, because that was when I realized that I could be fully self sustainable, like I could make, income. I knew how to get clients. I knew how to get referrals. I knew how to keep adding value to the marketplace. And I started to really see, okay, there's an actual, like, there's something actually forming here. You know, anyone can maybe get one client or something like that. But when you get five clients paying you the same price for the same solution and you have a duplicatable system and you realize it doesn't really take you too much more time to add that new client, um, this is where things open up. And so I wanted to share this with you because if you think you got to make a million bucks or something like that um, from this model to change your life, you really don't. Like at $15,000, $20,000 per month with my agency – with extremely high profit margins, I have very low expenses, and I don't have to worry about any team members to manage, um, you know, you can live a very great life. And this isn't including all the other sources of income that I have, consulting, products, being an affiliate. And so this is really kind of the stepping stone for somebody that maybe has a nine to five or somebody that just wants to increase their income and can't really do it in the situation that they're in. And so I, I think that this is important because if you can focus on the signal, which is, look, if I can get five clients, whether you add it to your income at, with a job or it's just your, your only source of income, um, when you can hit this amount, this is when you can start to show others what you're doing and, and it just opens up everything from there, okay? And with the method that I'm gonna be showing you here, you're gonna be able to get that number of clients for virtually free. You're gonna have to spend some time I will show you how you can outsource um, the lead generation part of it, uh, but you're not going to be in you know, thousands of dollars per month to keep this thing alive. And there's nothing more calming than knowing that you're not overextending yourself and you're just sticking to the basics. Okay, So with extremely high profit margins, your dollar per hour is going to easily be 100 plus per hour. Okay, So like I said, it's more of a realistic approach to this model. And then from there, you can decide, man, I want to double this. I want to triple it. I want to make it you know, into whatever you want to make it. But this income mark was when I really started to see that if I can double this and not really spend that much more time, um, this is going to be a great income. Okay. So before I get last things, before I get into the specifics here, if you do these basics well, okay, this is going to carry you through 2024 and beyond and allow you to be successful despite what happens in the market. Okay. Be a high value asset to the marketplace. So create resources, create value for your clients and other business owners so that people see that, hey, this isn't just somebody doing you know, this little side hustle or trying something out. This is somebody that is consistently showing up and adding value to the marketplace. And even if I don't need this person's services, if I ever have a question or if I ever think of something that this person could help me with, they're going to come to mind. That's what you want to happen. So be a high value asset to the marketplace. The other thing is to be presentable. When you start reaching out to these people and these are high level business owners that are making good money, you want to basically be presentable and be somebody that other people want to introduce you to. If your clients are doing really well with your system and you're showing up, you're adding value, you're growing your business, people are going to want to you know, show other people, hey, I'm working with this person and, you know, this person's helping me a lot. And I feel confident that if I refer you to them, they're going to take care of you. Okay. 
This is a huge key as well. Also, be solutions oriented, okay? Sometimes the thing that you offer isn't gonna maybe go as well one month or whatever. You should always be looking for, proactively looking for problems and things that you can help your clients solve. And if you can proactively solve those problems for them and communicate that to them, they're gonna see that, hey, you know what? The ads maybe didn't work that great this month, but this reactivation that you ran really, like I got more appointments from it and I got a deal from that or maybe these old leads that I had that, you know, we retargeted or whatever it is, um, that ended up actually working really well. So when, when you're solutions oriented, you're realizing that, hey, you know what, this, this service I'm offering maybe is one uh, solution that works really well, but sometimes it's gonna ebb and flow. And so you need to proactively be creating other solutions for them. Um, not, don't go so wide that you, know, you lose kind of the, the scope of what you do, but anything around the general category of, you know, in this particular video, what we're doing, generating leads and following up with leads and getting higher quality leads, that's gonna be valuable to your client and they're gonna acknowledge that, hey, you know what, I could just tell you're, you're showing up the best way that you can. And sometimes that's really all you can do and the results come later, okay? Also, creating a personal brand that attracts high level clientele, okay? so. One of the benefits of this particular model is that if you try drop shipping or Amazon FBA or whatever those things are, you know, you kind of, there's, there's nothing really dependent on you, which can be great. And those methods do work. But one of the things I loved most about this model was that I created the brand. I created the marketing. I created who I attracted. And so if you maintain a personal brand that looks good and actually, you know, is cohesive, people are going to see that, you know, what you're doing, even if you don't have a bunch of clients yet. Okay. And people, it doesn't matter how much money you're making when you're starting. If people see your character and see how you're showing up, people are going to realize that, hey, this person's in it for the long haul. And I may not need what this person does right now, but in the future, I'm thinking of this person. Okay. Also serving at a high level. So people are paying you for solutions, right? People are paying for you to help them. So serve at a high level, you know, check in with your clients, make sure they're doing good. You know, talk to your clients, call your clients, like, don't be afraid of your clients and, and proactively seek feedback from them so that you can make what you're doing better and be able to discern who is giving you good feedback and who is potentially just complaining or maybe not the best fit and you sign them because it was, you know, you need you needed a client or whatever. And so over time this will shift. But if you it'll shift to where you're just working with, you know, a high level of clientele that takes responsibility and gives you good feedback. And that's going to really help you grow as great clients. And the only way you can get great clients is if you become someone great to work with. Okay. And you know, these last points here, you want to consistently innovate and look for new ways to do what you're doing and find better ways to do what you're doing. If you're just sitting there and just, oh, okay, well, I just want to collect this money and not do anything. People are going to feel that they're going to, they're going to sense it. And um, before you know it, they're going to go somewhere else because you're not on the ball. So be proactive. And if you do those things, you charge a fair price, you have a clear offer, you have a clear solution, have a clear uh, audience or, or group of people that you help, you're going to have business for years to come and your product offer suite will evolve organically if you listen for the signal, not noise, which is what is actually helping your clients, okay? So those are the things that uh, I want to share with you that have helped me um, really stay successful over time because there's been a lot of changes. There was no, not even TikTok when I started. That sounds crazy, right? Short form content wasn't quite what it is today. So there's a lot of noise that has entered into the space and some of it is signal too. But, you know, had I not, you know, focused on these things here, if, you know, my method went out of date, you know, I would have been done. But because I've added value consistently to the real estate industry, people know me, people think of me and word spreads. And so, that's a longer term uh, approach that I would recommend. And that's going to help you even if this method that I'm going to get into doesn't, you know, isn't quite for your niche or whatever it is that those are the principles that are going to guide you despite what happens. Okay. So now that, you know, you understand the overview of, okay, this is what this business model is. This is how it works. And these are some things to keep in mind while I focus on this strategy, which is, you know, building a long term, you know, personal brand that people know and think of and trust. Um, that's going to that's going to be a byproduct of, you know, you really focusing on, you know, what's best for your clients. And when people feel that and people see that, you know, people will always send people your way because they, they trust you. OK, so. Now, with that being said, what is the specific method? What is the specific tactic to 
actually, you know, finding leads, sending them messages and basically getting them to book an appointment with you and, and you collecting money and getting your first client or first 10 clients, whatever it is. Okay. So what we're going to do is we are going to use direct personalized video outreach and clear messaging. Okay. And when we do that, we're going to be able to get appointments with local businesses and demonstrate our ability to solve their problems with go high level uh, and SaaS services, which I'll, I'll talk more about as we get there. So we're going to find leads, send them personalized video messages, get them to book appointments, and that's going to turn into clients. Okay, so this is the equation here. We have a niche, which is a group of people with a problem. So in this example, we're going to be using real estate agents as that specific niche, and they need either home buyers or home sellers, and that's how they're going to make money is if you can consistently connect them with new home buyers and new home sellers. It's just you know, natural law that they are going to make money if you consistently do that for them at a cost they're willing to pay, okay? So that's your group of people, real estate agents. The offer is your proposed solution. So I'm gonna go over what that offer will look like, but it's basically generating these leads using paid ads and uh, booked call funnels so that they can connect with home buyers and home sellers, okay? So that's the offer. So more tangibly, that will be like, you know, 10 to 15 home buyer leads per month and that, you know, that will be kind of the frame of the offer is here's the specific number of these groups of people that I'm going to bring to you, okay? And your result. So when you successfully combine the niche and this offer and you do it, everything's on point. You have the right group of people. You have the right offer. You should get the client's desired end result, which is them making another $20,000 that month because, you know, your system works, Okay. So here's the math behind the specific outreach strategy that I'm going to be showing you here. For every 100 emails that you send, you should be able to get one to three clients, okay? And at minimum, you should be charging $500 per month unless you just go for the SaaS play, which I'll touch on, but it's not what I did to get started and I, I wouldn't recommend it to start. Um, so you should be at minimum charging $500 per month. Um, closer to 1000 is probably better. So a um, thousand or more. So for every hundred emails you send, you should get one to three clients, okay? And the business model is, like I said, running ads for real estate agents. So now we're gonna get into the client attraction process. So step one is to pick a niche, which I kind of already covered for you. Um, and keep in mind, you can use this framework for really any other niche. You just need to find you know, where you can source these actual uh, leads, which in this case is listing agents, okay? or excuse me, uh, real estate agents. So level one would be saying like real estate agents, okay? Level two would be saying, and when I say level one and level two, um, I'm referring to how specific you're being. So level one is real estate agents. That could mean a lot of things. Real estate agents just getting started, real estate agents, um, you know, that are uh, like part-time, real estate agents that are closing maybe only a few deals a year. Um, so level two would be listing agents. So people that specialized specifically in listing properties. So for example, um, this is a, you know, the, the agent that listed this property was responsible for getting the photos taken, putting it on the MLS and basically coming up with the pricing and all that. And so they're responsible for working with the homeowner to get the property sold. So level two being a little bit more specific would be uh, targeting listing agents. Now, one of the things to note is if you get super, super specific with your client avatar and you're communicating it to them that way, it can be kind of weird because it, once you understand the actual business that you're working into, like real estate, I understand real estate. If I went up to an, uh, an agent and I said, I help listing agents that close 25 transactions or more per year, get more listings. It, it, that's good for you to know that, that that's your criteria and you can potentially reveal that as you go through your demonstration. But when you say it up front, it kind of sounds like you don't know the industry, okay? Um, that's my personal opinion um, versus if you just look for what those qualifying criteria um, are up front, you don't really have to say all that stuff to them. You can just focus on, okay, these are people that list properties and you know they do over 25 transactions per year. So level two would be um, you know, listing agents or something like that. And then more, uh, if you want to get more specific internally, you can define that and really get clear with who that is. Um, but when you're communicating it to them, um, it just could be a little weird. Like if someone said, Hey, you know, I work with marketing agencies that make this much per month and, you know, have this high profit margins. It kind of just sounds weird. So, um, 
you know, versus focusing more on the specific problem they have. Like if you know you're reaching out to listing agents and you know that you've pre-vetted them through what I'm about to show you, then if you reach out to them specifically and say, I saw that you recently sold um, a property on Lancaster Road, we have more, um, we, our system finds listings in this area or we can find you more listings in this area. Um, and then I'll talk about the video um, later, but that's gonna resonate with them more than, hey, we help you know agents in Homewood, Alabama get more listings. It, it kind of sounds like you don't know the area or you don't know what you're, what you're saying. It sounds a little more scripted. That's my opinion. So I think if you vet it just by their production, and then you reach out to them and say, hey, saw the property you, you recently sold on Lancaster Road. Um, we can get more listings in that area. Would you be interested in talking? Um, it sounds a little bit more casual, like, oh, like I know what, you know, I know what I'm talking about and I don't need to overextend myself and try to make it very specific. So that that's my personal opinion and how I've had success is instead of kind of saying it all out there, just vetting the client on the back end and then communicating to them more casually at their level, it works better. So Pick a niche in this example, you know, we'll stick with listing agents and then we're gonna find our ideal list of clients. So what you're going to do is you are going to go to Zillow over here, you're gonna go to Agent Finder and then let's just go to, um, we'll do Birmingham, Alabama um, because I think that's a little bit bigger than Homewood. Um, this is just a random area so I'm just picking it because you know I don't know anyone here or anything like that. And so what you're gonna do is you can choose the specialties here as listing agent. Now, keep in mind, these people are gonna do both, but um, high producing real estate agents that have been experienced most of the time prefer listings. Um, and I'll show you how to dig a little bit deeper into this stuff, but basically this is a good enough filter to start with, okay? So once we open up Agent Finder here, now we're gonna basically start going through you know, this list of, uh, you know, basically these are leads, okay? And what you're gonna do is just create a simple spreadsheet. So I have this one here. And so this is exactly, let me move that down here. Um, this is exactly what I would do. And you can have someone do this on Fiverr. Um, but let me just show you just the concept so you see. So for example, we can click on this team here. Now, keep in mind, um, whenever somebody has like our members here, this means that this person has a team. So this person owns a brokerage, okay? So if you wanna go specifically for agents, you may wanna look at the agents inside of the team that have a good level of production. So two sales, probably gonna be a little too low. Um, so you probably want you know, at least, yeah, so this is good, 53 sales. And you can see their cell phone is literally right here. So, and they also have three for sale and they uh, just sold one. This is a, a month and a half ago. These are um, you know, buyers here. But basically all you're gonna do is uh, grab this Zillow profile here You'll just paste that there. And then usually their website is linked here. If you don't see a website, that's fine. So we can just grab this right here and we can just paste that here. And I'll kind of show you a few ways um, around finding other information if it's not there. So the cell phone's here and then we'll just paste this in and we should see other information. So there you go. So real estate agents, like I said, are pretty easy to find. So um, we already got most of the information here. Um, we can see if an email pops up here or anything like that. Um, and you don't wanna spend too much time doing this, right? It's really more to get the hang of it and then eventually you're gonna probably want um, you know, somebody to, to do this for you. But this is what I would do. It's not sexy, it's not you know, all AI automated, um, but this is what I would do. And I would look to see if I could find, so one of the things you'll find is with Teams, you'll find they have usually a brokerage site with a bunch of the agents. And so here you can actually see all the agents here. So I'll just uh, see if I type in Christina here, if that will uh, load, let's see. So I can go to, oh, it's not letting me search. So, oh, there we go. I think it loads slow. So email, so this does pop up with like, uh, yeah, I'm gonna close this. So that does pop up with kind of like that preset email button. Um, let's see, usually there's an email on there. Uh, oh, there it is. So took a little bit of time, but there you go. Now you have a clean um, email and phone. And what I would do is, um, you know, when you really start to like do this yourself, um, you're gonna want to find the proper 
information, okay? Because if you spend the time and you're not getting good information, then you're wasting your time. So you also want to have the person that you uh, have help you with this. Um, you want to have a defined process for them so that they actually get you really good information if they manually scrub. Because there's nothing worse than, you know, paying to like manually scrub either with your time and then you're just getting like, not ideal information okay like that's not accurate so that's our first lead right there it's literally there there's our first lead so we basically you know did that now you would just repeat this um, until you have you know a list of however many leads that you want to start with now when i was first doing this i started with 10 um, videos per day so you know what i would just do is get 10 um 10 leads you know and then i would do 10 videos okay now that may not have been the most time efficient way to do it, but that was what I did. And if you have, like I said, you pay someone on Fiverr, um, and just so what I'm saying isn't, you know, too abstract. If you just go to, uh, you know, lead scrub, uh, or you could just do data entry is probably what it's considered. So yeah, data entry, web scraping, copy paste. So I remember I paid someone once I, I mean, I didn't even know that this thing worked. So once I knew that it worked and people were opening my messages and stuff like that, then, you know, I just had someone do this. Um, but keep in mind, you can, um, you know, have someone do this from any one of these pages and, you know, probably get for 25 to 50 bucks, you can probably get a, a hundred or more. Okay. So you can look through these, these people and, and pay for their services. Um, but initially you want to make sure that you have a basis of knowing how to do this and finding good information. Okay. So once you record your, or once you have your 10 here, now, what we're going to do is actually record the video. Now, I'm not going to actually, um, you know, record it in this particular, um, like, I can't record two videos at once. Um, but once you do that, you're, you should be here on the actual agent's page, okay? And you can go to one of their listings or you can go to one of their past sold properties, whatever it is. But something that shows that you're on their profile and you actually are on, you know, one of their, their properties that they've sold. Just anything that shows like, okay, this is an actual message um, that's being sent directly to me, okay? And I have the actual uh, video transcription here. And this one led, this particular video led to $50,000 in sales. And so you can see it's a very simple, well, you could read through it, but I didn't really even know, like I was just making videos. I was just reaching out and connecting with people. And so um, what really made this, uh, this process different though, was what I'll show you right now. Okay, so this was what I would do. Now I can't record two looms at once. So basically, this is just a screenshot, but once you actually record the video using Loom, um, what's cool about Loom is that if you send it through Gmail here, you will get an, a thumbnail that shows you know your face and then their Zillow profile. And it just, I would get so many people to open and watch the videos because of this thumbnail. And so this is kind of the secret hack to making it work is, you know, if somebody open, most people will open like a personalized email and especially like you can see, I just put still Oak circle, which is just the street of their listing that they have. So she would open this, right? And I would sometimes send them and people would open them within seconds. Now, then when you see this video and then when you actually have the loom thing there, there's a play button and it's kind of like moving. Um, so when, when you see all those things add up, it, it just, it gets people's attention, okay? And so that's kind of the next key part of that formula. So you can read this, you know, transcription, but really the idea here is you go to their profile, you know, you say that you see the listing that they have here, you know, you have a system that can get more listings in these areas and, you know, maybe just look at their website or whatever and just kind of genuinely reach out. It's really that simple. And so um, this was the video script that I used right there. And then as you can see, I just kind of wrote the outreach message, um, just very simple, you know, right there. And then you just copy and paste that into the actual, uh, you know, email client. And then you basically just go from there. And one of the things that are optional, which, you know, I didn't do this, but just, I know the market has shifted in terms of just marketing. Um, you, you could potentially say the pricing up front and just say like, you know, I believe that, uh, I know that we can help you get more listings in Birmingham and, and these other areas, you know, and our plans start at 500 bucks a month or something. I would love to see if you're interested in learning more. It's not really my style with this type of a method, but it's just kind of a idea there if you want to. So then you just schedule the emails and you make sure the thumbnail is great. Like I said, and your job is just to continue to get leads, record videos and schedule them. And all you do is you just click on this schedule and then you click on, you know, whatever tomorrow morning. And then there you go. 
and that will basically um you know show you like okay cool like i can schedule these emails out so they don't just happen right when you're recording it and then you know you can keep working on getting more leads if you're going to do this yourself now keep in mind i did this myself i was getting all the leads doing all that boring stuff i showed you um but you know when you're starting out that's what you got to do so if you have the money and you can pay someone to do it then you know great um so that's the client attraction process okay so you know, picking a niche, finding your ideal list of clients, you would just keep repeating this process, going through more of the leads and, you know, getting them on the document. And then from there, you just put them into the Google Sheet, record your video. This would be obviously after you've gathered all the leads you need for that day of recording, or if you want to bulk, do 50 or 100 up front, like get the leads and then record them later, however you want to do it. But that's the process. Now, here's the client conversion process. So, um, this is basically once they've actually responded and they're willing to talk, right? Then step one is really just to kind of break the ice. So I'm a very, like who I am on video is who I am on, you know, in any other situation. So um, that's why I don't edit these and do all that stuff. It's like what you see is what you get. So yeah, you just want to break the ice and this could be through something that, I mean, I wouldn't like script these things out. I mean, that's not my style, but I guess I'm just good at thinking of something that's kind of not just straight to the point right away like hey all right let me show you how to do this right now um so you just want to break the ice like i would just um if she was interested in talking um yeah i would just see how she's doing just see what's going on in her business and just kind of get an idea of just you know uh it's hard to it's hard to explain how to break the ice i feel like i just naturally know how to do it based on the response i get um but the other good thing too is that they did respond and you know the video kind of did break the ice okay but when you're on the call, you don't want to just say, Hey, so let me just show you how I can help you. Like you do want to kind of just like, you know, whatever. So, um, breaking the ice and then from there gather information. So once you kind of get through that first part of it, like maybe you say, what, what did you think of the video? I know most people probably don't send you personal videos. I'm curious, like, what did you think? Was it weird? What was your initial response? Right? Maybe something like that. And then she's like, Oh, it was cool. Or I kind of didn't know what it was or whatever. And then, you know, kind of that'll lead to more questions and say, okay, cool. Well, I appreciate your time. Um, I want to keep this quick. And, you know, I know that you're busy and you have a lot of stuff that you're doing, but I really just wanted to learn about your business and see if there's an opportunity for us to work together. You know, I'm looking for long term partnerships and people that I can, you know, help and develop relationships with over a long period of time. And so I would just love to hear, like, I saw your three listings that you have right now. I would love to hear just starting out, like, what are you doing right now to currently get those listings? Are, are you getting referrals? Are those word of mouth? Like, what systems do you have in place that's allowing you to consistently get listings in that area? And then they're going to tell you all this stuff. And then you just go through the other questions that you're going to have. And from there, um, that'll lead to just, yeah, understanding really the core thing, which is like, um, you know, what problems do they want to solve? Like, she may tell you, yeah, I have all these great systems. I have Zillow, I have this, I have that, you know, but I'm still not happy where I'm at. I still want to keep growing. And so basically, as long as they're a fit in the sense of like, you know, they, they seem like someone you would work well with and they have the problem that you believe you can solve, then they're basically a fit, right? Uh, in terms of like you at least being able to talk about what you're doing and, you know, the pricing and stuff like that. And so from there, you can, you know, that's, basically what I consider qualifying them is just, Hey, if they need to get more listings and that's what you do. And you know, you, you guys had a good conversation. It's like, cool. Well, let me show you, you know, what we're doing right now in your market or similar markets to get listings. Let me show you the math. Let me show you what we charge. Let me just kind of put it out there for you to, to see. And you know, if at any point you have any questions, just interrupt me and blah, blah, blah. And then I made this, um, this is a simple uh, document that is part of uh, one of my programs called Agency in a Box that I'm working on. And so this is basically the most simple bare bones way to present what you're doing if you're gonna run this type of a system and um, just not have to deal with a lot of the tech and all this stuff. And so basically it's just very simple. Like, th So this is how we generate 15 to 30 homeowner leads per month and this is how we would do it in your area. Now, this Agency in a Box document is for a, sp a different niche. Um, but it's the same core concept, which is, okay, so step one, we drive traffic with proven ads. So these are some of the ads that we're running. Obviously these would be your mock-up ads or whatever that is. And you could show videos here, but the idea is you just keep it simple on a document and you just kind of paint the picture of like, look, I'm going to put my cards on the table. This is how we're doing it. We're running ads. Um, 
you know, that kind of, that look like this and da, 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 da. So the second step is we have a proven funnel. So once people see those ads on Facebook, then we take them to a funnel, we collect their address, their name, their email, their phone number, when they're thinking about selling, whatever it is, all the questions relevant to the niche in this specific instance, it's an agent. So just address, reason for selling, things like that. And then once they fill out this, this first uh, survey, we redirect them to book in a call with you to discuss um, you know, selling their home, okay? So obviously these things would be specific to that client, uh, but this is just painting the picture of how to present it. Once they book in that time, you know, they're just gonna go to a simple thank you page. And then step two is we automatically qualify leads with SMS automation. And then you just walk them through, okay, so here's a lead that we just generated, and then here's the questions we're asking. And then basically, you, know, you just show an example of, the SMS, you know, sequence. And once you do that, then we, we go from Facebook leads or Facebook ads that go to a funnel and then get qualified via SMS. And then once they answer all those questions, we send them over to you and, you know, we charge 500 a month, a thousand a month. We would recommend in your market to spend 30 per day. And here's basically, you know, our calculator, which would basically show you what it would be like to, you know, to work with us for the next six months or whatever. So this is something I built, but um, this is the general frame for what I would do. And what's cool about this is it, it kind of makes it a little bit more objective versus like, I'm just on the call quoting you some price. And when something's written out beforehand and there's like a calculator and some math behind it, um, it kind of makes it, I mean, it, it makes it more fair and, and uh, it makes it less uh, emotional because it's like, here's this tool that we use. And so if someone said, well, what if I want to get 10 deals, then I can show them what they need to basically spend and all that stuff. So it's cool because it's not, um, it's not just me coming it, coming up with it off the top of my head. So this is what I would recommend in terms of how to demo, um, you know, the client and just show them the process. Right. And then the math for that system is going to be, you know, dependent on your actual calculator. And then if they have questions, then just answer them, you know, Oh, well, um, how do I know the leads are going to be good? Well, the leads are good. Well, the truth is most of the leads are not going to be good. You know, Christine or whatever her name was. Um, that's why we have not only the ads, but the funnel and the SMS automation, because the reality of it is that most of these leads are not going to be good. So, um, the reason that you know they're going to be good is because we're taking them through a funnel, we're qualifying them through the SMS, and if and only if you know they go through those three steps, will we send them to you? And then you can even say, um, we also can work with you to set up uh, custom qualifying questions, so you can actually decide if they're qualified or not by telling us what questions you want them to answer, and if they don't answer them or they don't fit a certain parameter, um, then we won't send them to you. So just turn the question into you know, how you can fix it with the automation and stuff like that. And, you know, that's, that's how I answer those questions. And then lastly, so that's, we went over how to get these clients and how to convert them. And then, um, how do you get these, these people results? So this is an SOP that I have and developed, and this just shows you exactly how to set up, um, you know, these, this system that I've showed you, um, I can run through it real quick. Yeah, so basically this is a snapshot that I've created. If you're new to high level and you don't know what a snapshot is, it's basically like I can give you the entire system with, with a link. You can just install it into this software. But basically, um, you know, this document, I show you how to install it. it. This would be, I have a video on it. If you search up, um, let me show you, hold on. Yeah, so if you just search up uh, this video here, this video shows you exactly how to run. I just basically show you how to run through this whole thing. This video would be way too long if I, if I do that now. But go watch that if you wanna see that next part of the, you know, the process, which is like setting the client up and getting them results. Um, once you basically follow that process, what'll happen is in your account, you'll see this Facebook ads tab and then you'll basically have all these proven templates that you can run. So here's the SaaS in the box one. So you can just choose this template and then basically just put in like uh, Birmingham and then put in a budget and then put in, um, I'll just put in a, my website for now. And then all you gotta do is click on um, location targeting here and then you can literally run a proven Facebook ad. Oops, brr. Uh, Birmingham, Alabama. Did I spell that correctly? There we go. So you just choose that. I don't know if this one's linked. This is a demo, but um, basically this just runs the ad. So, you know, you go from, 
like getting the client, converting the client, and then how do you get results? I would watch that other video um, and that'll show you how to set all this stuff up. And then this is kind of just me showing you, you know, straight to the point. Once you figure that out, this is how to run the ad. I'll give me a second. So you can see here, I'm in, I'm in my own ads manager. And while this is working, this takes about a minute and a half. And basically this will run a proven Facebook ad. And this system comes with all the uh, backend automation and all that stuff. Um, so you don't have to go and create it. It's literally already hooked up. All you have to do is, you know, um, run this ad. And then when those leads get generated, they just automatically go through the um, qualification process that I showed you. So um, this is kind of the, you know, the last piece of it, which is how do you actually get the client results, which, like I said, just search up, um, you know, Quinn Nolan or using Go High Level and Upex and you'll see this video. And, um, you know, you can watch that entire process. Um, but as you can see, it says your campaign is being created. So if we click on this, we're going to see in our actual ad manager that the ad is literally about to run. So new Birmingham homes on the market, everything's good. And then even um, the Birmingham, Alabama is targeted. Okay. So that's how you can run this type of a model without spending a lot of time. As you can see, I launched this thing in what, five minutes. Um, I explained the entire thing, but once you know what you're doing, it's like get a client, get them onboarded, and then just turn on the template. So that is pretty much it. That's how you can use this in 2024 and beyond. Um, last things kind of to note here is I keep all my communication on Slack with my clients. So everything's nice and clean and you know, all the communication is streamlined and I'm just reaching out every two to five days, you know, making sure they're good. And you can also set up, um, daily reporting inside of your, your go high level dashboard. And so if some of these, uh, steps or things like this were went over your head and you don't quite quite know like how this all works together, definitely check out this video, oh, oops, this video. This video will show you, you know, the next steps, like just so you can see here, oops, hold on. Um, okay, so you can see here from the beginning, this entire, oh, it's gonna show an ad. But basically you can see in this video, um, yeah, the exact outline of the process of like running through that document that I was showing you. So, so trust me, this video shows you how to do all that stuff totally free. Um, and that'll help you understand that last piece of like setting up the client and making sure that everything's hooked up correctly. Okay. Um, so with that being said, that's it for this video. If you want to buy that system directly, there's a link below. Um, and that includes the entire snapshot and you can see everything on the, um, product page. And then you can also get it as a paying affiliate. So I have an agreement with, uh, go high level where I give a 30 day free trial. So if you want to try out the software, I give out some trial snapshots. Um, and you know, you get access to the trial resources. And then when you actually uh, pay for your, you know, go high level account, you'll actually unlock this entire uh, system that I just showed you all the documentation and stuff like that. So hopefully this helps you in the new year. And let me know what you guys think of this video. And I'll see you in the next one. All right, peace.